Hi, I'm Kevin, and on behalf of ExpertVillage.com, we're going to do our second pull. Taking the water out, clean the wheel off a little bit. Take your sponge in your bucket. Look how much water I got in there. Got a lot of water in there. That's just fine. Keep a lot of water in your sponge. We're going to put it right on the lip. We're not. We're going to do this all over because then now you have just spots that are wet, and then your fingers are going to grab onto it. Right on the lip. Just let it go. And the important thing is that water goes on the inside and on the outside. Much as you want. Right on there. So that's important. Now this pull involves two fingers, one from each hand. First we did the claw like this. Now one is on the outside here at 3 o'clock. If you look at this like a clock, we have 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, so on. You take this first finger. You want to dig that one in there. Hands touching. If you can make a C... With, this, with your left hand, hold it inside your right hand like this. Your inside finger is just kind of hanging out, giving a little bit pressure out. But the main one is right here. Notice I made an indentation. Here goes the second pull. I'm pushing in. I'm going to slow my wheel down a little bit. And here we go. I'm going to bring it up. Start bringing it up. And as I start coming up, on this second pull, we got some clay that doesn't want to be with this again. Fine. As I start getting up to here, up to the lip, I'm going to release my pressure just a little bit. I'm going to hold it right there, right at the top, and slowly let go. What you don't want to do is continue your pull, start, oh, just keep coming up, and then you have a thin lip. Because what happens is where you left off, right at that spot, is higher than anywhere else. And that's going to mess you up. So I'm going to set this lip a little bit more so it's nice and thick. Great.